Simon, so the future is looking really bright for private property. Why don't you tell us a bit more about the change in ownership? No, for sure. I mean, it's a very exciting time for the business. Uh, we've obviously gone through a few years of exciting growth. Um, you know, the market is starting to mature in South Africa. People are coming online more and more to find their, their new home. And we're one of those destination platforms for that. So uh, we are obviously an exciting business for uh, investors to be involved in and we went through a process during the course of last year looking for the right fit, the right strategic partners to take the business now to the next level and I think we found that. We found an excellent fit between the real estate industry themselves who are heavily invested in what we do and how we do it uh, and looking to us perhaps as a driver of innovation and change in their world and we've got this exciting new media partner in Caxton Media that have this this incredible regional uh, network and, and uh, uh, brands that people know and respond to and there's this, there's this legacy component to what they offer and, and I think we get, to, we get to add a new school veneer to all of that uh, and so the mix is very strong and we're excited about what it could do for, for our business. So Caxon, obviously JSC listed company, um, one of the largest uh, media companies in the country and um, but with a local presence in, in newspapers like I would know being on Berea, the Berea Mail um, as well as sort of the Get It magazines um, but they're a publishing company, they're a print publishing company why are they interested in the digital space? Yeah I mean like any large-scale media company I think it's exciting for them to look at the different media channels and, and there's been so much evolution in that space globally and locally uh, you know, print used to be the mainstay of how you'd communicate with local communities and I think to some extent it, it still is. There's a very strong readership and following for papers like the Berea Mail and others. I mean Caxton have hundreds of these publications across South Africa. Um, but there is also this uh, great scale to digital traffic, digital audience uh, and we're one of those platforms where people are uh, finding themselves online and I think Caxton uh, like any large media company needs to have a presence in the digital universe and we're one of the assets that allow them to do that. I think um, they've got a great digital vision of where they want to go as a media company in South Africa uh, and I think what's unique is whilst a lot of media companies are focused beyond the borders of our country, uh, they're a very South Africa first uh, brand and that's what we like about it as well you know South Africa is really uh, important to private property uh, we want to be part of building the nation's story uh, property is an, a great way to do that uh, and Caxton are a perfect fit from that perspective as well because all of the assets are local real strategic focus on where they drive South Africa's economy uh, and we're hoping to play a massive part of that particularly on the digital side of their growth so now we know what it's going to do for Caxton um, what is it going to do for private property and uh, perhaps elaborate more on just the ordinary uh, consumer shoppers out there? Yeah, property is something that, um, you know, it's a long search process. Finding your home is not instant. We'd like to certainly shorten that cycle, make it more convenient, uh, make it simpler. But it's a highly emotional decision. It's got a key financial component to it. So it's never going to be an easy fix, right? And I think what's exciting about this uh, relationship and this future that we've got in private property is the ability to drive uh, the, the property search through multimedia channels. So now it's not just about the digital platform, although that's going to be core to what we do, but it's also about the local paper and what advertising reach can go in there for our real estate partners and, and how local communities want to interact with that through print. Um, and there's a network and a kind of syndication effect that we've got through the Caxton Media Group so they own a number of other assets and so you'll start seeing farms pop up and Farmers Weekly and uh, their website offerings and so I think there's just going to be a greater reach to what we do uh, and so you as a consumer will have to make less effort to find the property uh, that best suits your need. So private property went from being this single-use websites that I could go and sell my property on to now partnering with uh, real estate agents, developers, etc. A lot of industry guys um, to this phenomenal portal that you have at the moment. This must be really exciting for your partners and for the guys that have come on board and joined the journey of private property 
What does it look like for the future for them? Well, I think that's what's fascinating about this mix of, of ownership that we now have in the business. We've got a representative uh, base of shareholders from the real estate industry themselves, so guys that use our platform on a daily basis to advertise their listings to South Africa. Um, they ha obviously have a vested interest in our platform performing, uh, driving buyers to their properties, to their show days, uh, and so they were very excited to partner with our business. Um, and then the Caxton relationship, obviously that's an opportunity for us to grow up, right? Yeah. You know, we're this, we're this uh, website, kind of go it alone, independent uh, business, and now we're part of a massive media group. And so the, the partnership is very exciting, I think, for anybody in the real estate industry that uses private property to touch the consumer because there is a greater scale to what we're going to be doing. There is a greater opportunity and access uh, for our business through the Caxton network. Simon, so the future does look really bright for SA's favorite property portal. I think so. I mean, I think this is going to be a season where the business really starts to fly. Uh, we've got the right partners in place. We've got a passionate team of people that are enthusiastic about the innovation that we're bringing to the market. Uh, we've got some exciting new products for, for property shoppers in the wings. So uh, I think it's going to be an excellent season for the business. Excellent. So thanks so much for talking to me and best of luck for the year ahead.